Hello Taurus and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. Remember this reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you as always. So we have a new opportunity. Insights gained from a new experience, job or partner. That's what we have for you. Let's pull you an angel message for the week, Taurus. What do we have for our lovely Taurians? Thank you. 20th to the 26th of February, 2023, Taurus. As always, take what resonates. And we have the angel of action. Take action toward your destiny. That's a really pretty picture as well. All the butterflies, transformation. Okay, Taurus, let's see what we have for you for the week. Message for our lovely Taurians. Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Taurus for the week. Overarching energy first. Thank you. What do we have for Taurus? Thank okay, thank you. We have the Four of Wands, happy home, happy family, celebrations. We have the Ace of Swords. Six of Pentacles. We have the King of Pentacles, which would be Taurus for me in the Minor Arcana. Can be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but I feel this is likely your energy, male or female. The Hermit. We have the Emperor. The Queen of Cups. Bottom of the deck, we have the Empress, Venus in Taurus. It looks like something's gone on here, Taurus, and let's see. Let's see before I start talking. Let's clarify that Four of Wands energy, please, for Taurus. What do we have for Taurus? Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Taurus. Thank you. We have the Three of Wands. The Seven of Wands and the Ace of Wands. This does feel like a new opportunity. It's, um, It looks like uh, you're still waiting to, and it might well be this week, that's the energy. You might be waiting or waiting for to hear or waiting for the final confirmation in some way. But it looks like the new is coming in. You know, the emperor can be a key decision maker, very good in business. Uh, the emperor can be, you know, a business owner, CEO, MD, head of a company or somebody who commands incredible influence, their decision is not to be questioned. I feel that like you're dealing with that kind of person here, Taurus. But it's like, it's like you're just waiting for the new. You're waiting for the confirmation, the breakthrough. Again, the hermit, deep down, I, I'm feeling something. Deep down, I know. Uh, I feel that this is this is moving in the right direction, but I just don't know. And it's all to healing, health, recovery in some way. Let's clarify the Hermit. Let's 
Yeah, the Six of Wands, deep down, I think I'm going to be victorious. I just don't know. <laughs> the Eight of Swords, it's beyond my control. It could go either way. Yeah. You know, it's just you don't know. You're kind of like shining the light in the dark and thinking, you know, what could go wrong potentially. But this just feels like you think, um, you think you're going to be victorious, but you just don't know. I mean, this could also be a, a legal situation as well. If you're waiting for a decision from a legal perspective as well. Um, but yeah, I mean, the Ace of Swords is that new beginning, but it comes in the form of the decision, the light, the, the light, the, the clarity, the breakthrough, you know, the victory, the success, the triumph, you know, you're just waiting for that new door to open, but you just don't know. I mean, you don't know whether you're going to be victorious right now. That's the energy. Let's go over here. It looks like uh, you are, you're anticipating that something is coming here, but you just don't know. You're feeling very positive and optimistic about what's coming your way, about the steps that you've taken on a particular path here, Taurus, and you're waiting for those ships to come in. And there is a sense here, those ships are coming in and you're anticipating celebration here, but you just don't know. Uh, things are feeling good and positive. The seven of wands defending what you need to defend, standing your ground, defending and protecting that which is important to you. It can be in money, career, finances in some way. With the ace of wands, getting a job, getting a, a new job, getting a new opportunity. I mean, this can also indicate in your current place of work, you're tired of firefighting and you just want to turn your back on the situation. I mean, that could be in any way. I mean, the, the Seven of Wands, it, it can be always feeling defensive, always having to defend and justify everything that you do, always having to, you know, pull people into line if they're trying to be subversive and undercut you in some way. And, you know, it could be that kind of situation that you've been dealing with as well. Not limited to that, but it's defending. It's it, it this can be about somebody who might have persevered on a path to get a new opportunity and you're waiting for the breakthrough to come. This person is, is influential for you because the Emperor is somebody who reaches out and offers you something, the Six of Pentacles. There's a real kind of energy of it's your time to receive with this. It's, it's all about bringing this balance back in the home, the family, the relationship. It looks like here, Taurus, that this person is reaching out offering you something but spirit is heavily working through them um because it is a strong energy this week it's your time to receive from this person this person is very favorable for you and that would be the same if they were deciding on a legal situation as well it could be a sum of money uh, assets property as well uh but it looks like i mean they can also reach out and offer you a job you know And if it was, if it was a new, if it was an op a new, a new opportunity, it would be getting a victory and being able to move in a new direction now after it, you know, that would be the energy if it was a legal scenario, being very enthusiastic about the future and opening a new door, but just waiting for the clarity to come in. We have the queen of cups and the king of pentacles. I mean, the Queen of Cups can be a love romance. It can also be some male or female with this, but it's somebody who's connected to your heart. So it can be a mother energy. Again, the Four of Wands can be family. Um, again, the, the Empress can be mother energy as well. So it might well be you're leaning on somebody, whether it's love, romance, relationship, somebody is supporting you through this, somebody is encouraging you. Uh, but it's it's all to to bring success material success uh money career financial success for you king of pentacles is a card of success material money somebody who understands how to manifest money how to practically deliver an outcome here um of material success so i feel this is the energy here of um somebody might have been supporting you through it this could have affected you and your you and your family or you and your relationship You could have also been supporting and defending another person as well through this process. 
we have the Empress. This is new abundance. <laughs> so the Empress is your energy as well. Venus in Taurus links with new beginnings. Um, but so much more than that, you know, because she is new abundance coming in where you don't feel like very good in terms of money areas. Uh, it just represents this is that sense of new abundant beginning coming in for you. Uh, that's just the beginnings of of a very bountiful time in your life. If you have felt luck in some way, it feels like you're moving to a, a period where you don't feel lack in money career finances as well. I mean, it could be a legal process as well where you weren't given what you deserved and therefore you needed to pursue a route where you got what you deserved. I mean, that could be anything, you know. Um, but it, it, it feels either way, you're getting the sense of new abundance coming in here. It looks like in the form of either like an, an opportunity or a, a sum of money, because again, it's a general reading. The specifics might be very, very for you. But this week, the overarching energy is it looks like uh, there is. You can see it on the horizon. That something good is coming your way. And it looks like that new door is opening for you in some way here, Taurus. Either the completion of a process allows you to move through a new door or the new door is opening for you in the form of an opportunity like job, business opportunity, career in some way. Really exciting energy. Let's see what we have for you. What do we have as an affirmation for Taurus? You would have already been, you would have already been coming into this week. This is, this is playing out. So this has already started. It's not something that you're starting this week. This is a process that's been underway. I don't need to control life. I trust in magic and miracles. I love that. And we have everything is going to be okay. I feel that's probably a message for you. Okay, Taurus, let's pull you a final message for the week. What do we have for Taurus, please, for the week? Angel Spirits Guides, message for Taurus. We have Hedgehog, acceptance, embrace who you are. That's what I have for the week, Taurus. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful week. I will see you next time.